May the peace of Jesus be with you. It is a blessing to be with you and to be in the house of God. We praise God for your, for your sake. We praise God for the prayers that you offer on our behalf and on our behalf of the ministry. May God bless you. Amen. 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 This afternoon we are going to discuss the prayer that accelerates our destiny. We are going to read in 1 Chronicles chapter 4, 9 to 10. Yabesi yarusha gavenese ichuahiru. Kandi nyina yamuise yabesi kuko yavuzati na muzare nyagahinda. Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers and his mother called him his name Jabez saying because I bore him in pain. Yabesi atakambira imana ya Israeli. Aravugati Ichamha ukambu mugisha rwose Ichamha ukagura imbago yanje Ichamha ukuboko kwa kukabana nanje Ichambo kandi ndi byago ntibimbabaze Nuko imana imuha ibyo yasabye And Jabez called on the name on the God of Israel saying Oh that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil that I may not cause pain so God granted him what he requested. Amen. Amen. Ubu ukwezi turimo nukwezi eh twise kuihutisha kugera mu byo twagenewe. The month we are in, we named it the month of acceleration to our destiny. Hari gihe utwari modoka witonze. Sometimes you can drive a car slowly. Ariko waboni saha cyangwa GPS yakubwira ko gisigara nyumwanya kandi ugomba kugera ahantu kare ufite randevu noneho ugashira mu vitesse nyinshi kugira ngo uvuduke And when the GPS tell you that you must get there and you are late you accelerate so that you can get there sooner Uwo ni wo muvuduko twita kwihutisha That's what we call acceleration so concerning this word uh, anybody who is born anybody was born on God's purpose aponyoke imana no one was born by accident and took God by surprise everybody is born according to God's plan number two anybody who is born God is a responsible man Imana itegura ikintu cyose kizatuma uyu muntu uje mu gihugu atazi uvuye mu bitekerezo byanjye akaza mu isatazi akaza hana tazi reka mutegurire ibizatuma yibaho neza mbere yuko ngira kungarukaho God prepares ahead of time for this person who's going into a country he doesn't know a place he doesn't know so that he can fulfill his plan and come back to him Imani banza kureba kwisi abantu yizera uwo muntu giye kuvuka azaca. God first looks around and determines the trusted people that he can be born in their family. Dok imana ntabwo yibeshye. God doesn't make any mistake. 
ushobora kubona umuntu akabyarira iwabo ku rugero you can see someone give birth at, at their own house in their home umuntu akibaza tari ko se uri ya mwana we imana iramuzi and you may ask yourself does god know that child uwo mwana nawe simpanuka even that child is not a mistake gusa igihe yavukiyemo nuburyo yavukiyemo sivyo imana yari yateguye ariko uwo mwana yagombaga guca mu nda y'uwo mugore maybe the time and the way the child is born was not in god's plan but that child was supposed to go through that mother's womb uwo nawe even her even that child imana nawe yamugeneye umunaniwe god has prepared an inheritance for that child imana igira ibintu ishira mu muntu god has things that he puts in men uyu muntu namara gukura once this person grows up azabikoresha ingigishoro kizatuma baho they will use it as a capital for their well being niyo mpamvu mu maso y'imana That's why in God's eyes Zima, in the mind of God mukene, he never created a poor person mutindi, he never created a person who, who is worthless no if it's the case ibyo bintu bivahe where do those things come from bakena, why do people be poor bangana, why do people hate each other mashari, why do people get jealous Why do people not love each other? One gets wealthy another one poor. One becomes great another one lowly. Where did we get that inequality? Those who don't know they blame it to God and they say that's God's will. Oh yeah. No. See you. That's not him. Kimwe mu bisubizo natanga mbere ko ninjira mu nyigisho. One of the solutions I can offer before I go into the teaching Niki. is the following. Bibiliya iravuga ngo The Bible says Ngwe imana yahaye umwana w'umuntu isingwa yiyobore ngo na isigaranije. God gave earth to man and he kept the heavens to himself. Umwana w'umuntu natangiye kuyobora isi abigisamba rikunda noneho atangira kwikubira abanda bigizayo when the son of man started to rule over the earth they became greedy and put away other people niyo mavu sanga harubusumbane that's why you find inequality ugerageje na kugira ngo agere hari imbere agomba gukoresha ingufu nyinshi imbaragaze kurwana bye akaba arimo bimugira uwariwe another person who tries to go ahead to advance they must force themselves to become the person they are supposed to be muri isirero principe y'ibinyembaraga bimira ibinyentegenke ni ikora in this world the principle of strength and weakness works ibinyembaraga the strong igihe cyose biremerera ibinyentegenke they overcome the weak ikindi nacho another thing nibzah it is sins ibzah sins bituma umuntu atagendera ijana kwijana mu byimana ya mugende they cause the person not to be 100% in god's will kuko ibzah because sins bigira nyirazo bigira se they have their fathers iyo rero umuntu abaye mu byah akagendera mu byah akaba mu nyabyah ntagera mu byimana ya mugeneye ahubwo ajya mu yinizira yundi mugabo uhatsa abanyabyaha when someone walks in sin dwells in sin and lives in sin they don't get to God's promise they go into the yoke of the person who is the head of the sinners the master the master of the sinners iyo twigisha ngo abantu bave mu byaha abantu bakiranuke si nyungu z'ababivuga ahubwo ni nyungu yugomba kubivamo kugira ngo abashe gukandagira muri destiny aho imana yamugeneye when we teach for people to get out of sin it is not the benefit of the preacher it is the benefit of the listener so that they can get into God's destiny harabantu benshi there are many people batakunda kubwirwa ko arabanyabyaha 
who do not like to be told that they are sinners and it's true nobody would be happy to be told that they are sinners even the sinners reject that premise the problem we have this is the way it is you see my left arm it is towards the east I don't have a compass to know exactly where but I'm going to call it the east and this east uh, arm I'm going to call it the north this is the way I am the plan or the way that God has prepared for me when I was born is when I live on this earth and I, ha- I go towards the north the way of the north every time I will find all the good things that God prepared for me before my birth to walk in them. But the world, the parents, school or education, sins, injustice, has caused me to ignore this way and go towards the east. In the way of the east, what is in there is everything that hurts me I work hard but I don't get anything I seek and I don't find I work very hard I use all my wisdom I use all my trickery and I don't find anything why? there is nothing in this way except the things that hurt my heart because I'm not achieving what I want I am not doing what I was prepared to do I will find thorns. I will find rocks. I will find mud. And it is going to be hard for me to take myself out of it. Because the more I will always fight for myself to get out of those problems because I'm in the way that God did not prepare for me it is not just you it is everyone who is in the place where they are not supposed to be who are walking in the things they are not supposed to walk in and this is what shows it it is a uh, desperation that continues it is grief it is fighting the day when Peter left Jesus on the cross it had been three years and Jesus had told him Peter follow me when Peter saw Jesus dying he thought it was over and he went back to his old way and left the way of Jesus this is what he did he went back to his old ways of fishing and he went back to the old experience where he used to fish and he used all his knowledge for fishing and he went to fish in the time of fishing and he went in the sea that he is used to and he fished all night 
and he could not find anything. Aratangara chani. And he was amazed. Umwana we Bethsaida. A child of Bethsaida. Wakuri Kapernaum kumazi. Who grew up in Capernaum near the water. Nigute na kuri jororios. How can I work all night? Kabura na gafina kam. And now find even one fish. Yari mnarobera hatari. He was fishing in the wrong place. Yes, when Jesus got there, he told him three things. And in one word, do you love me? He said, yes, I love you. Peter, do you love me? He said, yes, I love you. Peter, Peter do you love me? And he was hurt because he asked him three times. Do you know why Jesus asked him for three times? The day they caught Jesus, Peter denied him three times. When Jesus got to him, and he asked him three times, which is equal to three times of rejection. And Jesus said, throw your nets to the other side. And he caught so many fish. And John told him, Peter, it's the Lord. They had buried him. When John saw the way Jesus said, it is the Lord. He said, Peter, he is the Lord. And Peter left everything and ran as he was going to bow before him no, 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 no. he told him no wait do not ask for forgiveness do you love me do you love me do you love me he said yes feed my sheep Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Petero no no asubira muri ya nzira ya majaruguru yari yaravuye. So Peter went back into the north way that he had left. Akiri mu nzira yurasirazu. When he was still going towards the east, yenaniwe gufata nubwo yari umuburobyi kabo hariwe. He could not get any fish even though he was experienced. Kubwire neza. Let me tell you what. Sama shuri yawe azatuma ukomera. That will cause you to be great. Mm-mm. No. It is to be where God called you to be. It is, it is not your family that will cause you to be great. It is for you to be in the place where you are supposed to be. It is not your tribe. No. Oh yeah. It is where God prepared for you. Gusa. But when that education finds you where God prepared you to be, it is an addition. When knowledge finds you where God prepared for you, it is an addition. Seek, Seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything will follow you. So let's go back to the story of Jabez. May God help me today you should leave this place having stepped back into the things that God prepared for you. Because you are tired. No matter where you go, if you are still in, if you are still astray, if you are still astray, you will remain astray. Being in America is not going to change. Your, the fact that you are going astray there is no north and there is no east they don't go together Mm-mm. no Mm-mm. no linye parallele umurongu genda guchi ugera kuri infinite the parallel lines go all the way to infinite umurongo wakomeji the parallel line that you continue 
that's the one kiritsu gakora point inflection ukavuna ugahindukira turning guhindukira except if you do an inflection point and turn around atarivyo if you don't do so ubuyobe burangiriza mu buyobe astray we remain astray the bible says jabez was more honorable than his brothers he was not born that way even though it was what god had prepared for him a long time ago but his lifestyle caused him not to be so when the mother gave birth to him there was tragedy that came upon him something in the time of the judges they had killed his father and the mother was grieved other thing that his mother was raped and she gave birth to him in that other thing that the mother gave birth while she, she, she he was giving died birth. while she was giving birth just like Rachel died while she was giving birth there are many hypotheses but there is no clear source what, what we know is this when the mother he said your name will be Jabez because I bore you in pain that name pain that he gave to you continue to walk with his life until he changed the course of God you must be careful about the names you call your, your children the name you call your child can change their future remember the invisible have power over the visible in physics they say that the light has power over the visible you will find grass as grass with the color of the grass but you do not know that it's the rays of the sun that cause the grass to be green you don't see the rays of the sun but we see them through the grass when you cover the grass so that it doesn't get rain after one week when you remove the stone you find the grass as yellow because they did not get the rays of the sun so the invisible they change the life of the visible the name it changes the way a person walks it changes the way a person sits it changes the way a person eats it changes the future of a person don't take any name that you get on tv and name it your child or do not take your pain and your grief and put them on your child many times when you are angry they beat their children the anger that is in you you pour it on innocent children even the name that we give our children there must be names that keep them in their future, in their destiny and not take them away from the plan of God in 1992 I was in Goma and we were preaching the gospel. And they came to tell us about a parent who lost their child. That we may go and pray for that family. The child came from the top floor and they threw themselves to the ground and they died. And they buried them. 
When we got to that house, we found great grief. And they had asked me to go and pray for them. And I was in evangelism. So I took the parents and I asked the parents about the story. And I said, how did the child die? And they told me they threw themselves from the floor to the ground. And they asked, what was the name of the child? The mother told me the child's name. But the father named him again Rambo. Rambo Rambo is a movie actor. An American movie actor. They threw themselves from a tree and to catch him, uh, it was difficult to the point where he broke his, uh, his members. As they saw the, they watched the movie, they called the child Rambo. And they started calling the child Rambo. And after two weeks, the child told his friends, he was like seven years old. Rambo. He said, Rambo, I'm going to fly. And he threw himself out. And the child died. If they had not called that child that name, the child would still be alive. Be careful about, about the names you call yourself and the names you call your children. I'm not going to take too much time. Yes. Jabez, in the plan of God, he had to be more honorable than his brothers. But in the plan, in the plan of the mother and the circumstances, they called him a name that changed God's plan. Verse 10. And Jabez called on the God of Israel. Why did he call the God of Israel? This is what he said. God, that you would bless me indeed. He blessed me. What does this word mean? He was in a curse. The person who seeks a blessing is the one who rejected the curse. Number two, I ask you to enlarge my territory. You give me a large place. That means he was locked in a small place in life. Whether it's in his mind, whether it's in life. Number three, that your hand will be with me. Which means there was another hand that was leading him in a different way, which did not belong to God. And you understand the things that the hand was doing to him. Number four, that you keep me from evil that I may not cause pain. In Kinyarwanda they used uh, pain but in English they call evil so that it may not pain me. This word that says that I may not cause pain. In another version he says that I may not cause pain. That means everywhere he went, he would leave people in pain. He caused people. He caused people pain. He was a pain, a problem causer. Everywhere he went, even the people who had their own peace, he would trouble it. When he got to this, 
he would not even go among people he lived by himself since Jabez was born until Jabez prayed he had so much pain in his heart he was so much in pain and he prayed to God the Bible says so God Hallelujah. granted him what he prayed I wish that he may also grant what you are requesting I wish that he may hear the prayer that is on your heart I wish that the pain that you are walking with may come to an end I wish that the disgrace that you live in may come to an end. May today be a special day in your life. Let me tell you. Who is this Jabez? His name means he brings sorrow and he's the man of sorrow. He brings sorrow and is the man of sorrow. What trap does he come from? When you read this chapter 4 of 1 Chronicles, the first chapter of the of Chronicles, Harimo Amasekuruza ya Israel. They talk about the genealogy of Israel. Adam. From Adam Jacob. all the way to Jacob. But they also include the genealogy of Esau. That is the first chronicle. I'm talking now to people who don't like to read genealogies in the Bible. You see, he begot, he begot, and you leave that chapter. But I also want to tell you that those are scriptures too. Because this they have reasons. That's why we are talking about Jabez. The second chapter of Chronicles, all the way to four, they talk about the genealogy of the tribe of Judah. And they continue with Simeon and others. But these chapters, they talk about Judah. Judah is the fourth son of Jacob. And he's the fourth son of Leah. His, great, his brother is Reuben. Followed by Levi. Followed, followed by Simeon. Then Levi. Then Judah. Then Dan. So let me tell you. Chapter 2, 3, and 4, they talk about the genealogy of Judah. It is amazing. I'm talking about Jabez. Who is Jabez? On 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 4, they say the sons of Judah were Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shoba, born of uh, Tamar, who was his daughter in law. When you continue, and you get to verse 8. They talk about, about Kos begat Anub, Zobeba, and the families of Aharel, the sons of Harum. But when you get to chapter, uh, verse 9, this is First Chronicles 4 9. From nowhere, I had to tell you, he could be some moon with quite a base. He was going to go up, so I went to the house. But he said, I'm going to go up, so I'm going to go up. 
now from nowhere they start talking about Jabez who was more honorable than his brothers he squeezed himself in between they did not say that he's the son of Hashon or the son of Harun or the son of Etunan they said that so from verse 1 to 8 you do not see his father or his parents you just find him on verse 9 this is the problem how do we know where Jabez is from where does Jabez come from? Where is this person who came from nowhere to this uh, to, in this chapter? And from this chapter, this is the only place where they talk about an individual and what God did for him when he prayed. Other places they talk about the genealogy. But on verse 9 and 10, they show us the power in prayer that can bring a person back into their destiny. Which means when someone has left the way of their destiny, prayer can bring them back. That's why when a servant of God lays hand on you, your destiny change and you go back in your original pure, A pure hand. A pure hand. Mm-hmm. Now other hands will usher you into your destiny. Only a pure hand will usher you. Otherwise, everybody will be in their destiny because we had many hands laid on us. Where does it come from? It is amazing. There are some who teach. And you are going to read in commentaries. And many preachers who talk about Jabez. They say that Jabez was a Jew, was from Judah. He was from Judah. He was Israelites. In one way, it's true. But it is not the full truth. No. His origin, he is not an Israelite. He was an African. I will prove it to you. You will not find it in any many commentaries. No. No. Mm-mm. No. Our brothers in Christ cannot write that. In their commentaries. What they say is this. They say that it was a from But in the teachings of the rabbis, in Talmud. there is a place where they speak the truth that he was not Israelite but these are the families that joined together it's as if you are an only child and you find yourself in a family and they embrace you or adopt you you find yourself in a city where a family or people from the same family live and you become part of them that's the way he was another person who was not of Judah 
ariko wahagarariye abayuda mu gutata ikihugu but who represented judah when they went to spy the land yari caleb he was caleb caleb nkaba muita caleb mu giburai caleb in hebrew bisobanura ngo nakabwa nimbwa it means that he's a dog mu byukuri yari yari injiye mu muryango wa yuda ahinduka mu yuda ariko atari mu yuda he had entered the family of judah and became part of that family yet he was not from judah umunsi batumye abagabo kujya gutata abayuda bato ati uyu duhagararira nuyo ngoye yabahagarariye nk'umu yuda ariko nti hari umu yuda the day when they went to spy the family of judah said he will represent them and he did but he was not from them kalebu yarinde who was kaleb yari umukenezi he was a kenazite yabese yarinde who was jabez yari umukeneti he was a kenite ndaza kubabwira i will explain this Amen. Amen. We were not children of God, but we were made children of God. Heaven stands up and they say, "Behold the child of God, yet we are not his, but we were made to be his." There are things that came in play for this to become who they are. Aba Keni ni bande. Who are the Kenites? Yabes yari umukeni. Jabez was a Kenite. Ntabwo yari umuyuda, ti yari umwisraeli. Ni nkuko Caleb nawe yarameze. Yari umukenezi. Umukenezi ni umukeni nabo benda guhura ukundo. He was not a Jewish or Israelite similar to Caleb who was a Kenizar because Kenites and Kenizites have similarities. Commentaires zimwe bagerageza kuvuga ko Caleb ko yabesi irindi zina rye yitwaga Otiniel Otiniel eh mu bacamanza umwe wa rwanda wabaye mu camanza muri Israel ariko sibyo in some commentaries so the they try to say that Jabez was Otiniel but it's not true oh yes sir he was not the person yarumukenite yarumukeni he was a kenite abakeni nibande so who are the kenites umuryango wabakeni nibande who are the family of the kenites abakeni nibo basebuko wa mose kenites are the Mo- are moses father in law basebuko wa mose se bari bande who were the f- the the father the father in law of baraba abirabura were they not af baraba nyetiopia were they not ethiopians miriam na aron ibatutse mose ngo yazanye nde Miriam and Moses uh, blasphemed who did he bring she brought an Ethiopian he brought an Ethiopian wife you remember that the father in law of Moses was who Jethro Jethro do you remember Jethro Jethro was a black man Moses ni hoya That's where Moses got Zipora. Lero abakeni ni famiye yabakeni. So the Ken is the family of the Ken. Ni famiye yo kwa ba Yetiro. They are the family of Jethro. Aha ni ho yabesa komoka. That's where Jabez is from. Amen. Amen. Ndaza kubiyo here kagatoya. I will show it to you again. Bamwe mu bakeni igiye cha Israel. Bari batuye mu majepfo y'Ubuyuda. Abandi bari batuye hafi yikedeshi kwa naftali some of the kenite family had settled in the south of juda others near kedesh in naftali reka turebe abari batuye buyuda babanaga nabayuda let's look at those who lived in juda who lived with the family of juda abakeni vuga ngo abakeni say the kenites abakeni niho yabesa komoka the kenites is where jabes is from kandi bari batuye mu bayuda and they lived among the jews zageze gute ngo baturane nabo how did he how did they live with them bibilira bitubwira the bible tells us this abacha amanza rimwe 16 judges 116 Bibiliya bavuga ngo nuko abana ba wa mukeni vuga ngo mukeni sebukwe wande ibi nije wabyanditse eh nije uyu mutagira ngo ndababeshye ngo uyu nawe aratwifatira no 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 ngo abana bande ba wa o ko murasoma sebukwe wande wa mose nabene nde yuda 
the children of Kenite, Moses' father-in-law, and the, and the family of Judah, they went up from the city of Palms into the wilderness of Judah which lies in the south near Arad and they went and dwelt among the people. Remember when Jethro found Moses in the wilderness and counseled him. And Moses appreciated it. When they, before they left, they took their in-law. His name is Hobab. He said, listen, we do not know the wilderness. Please, come and go with us. And show us the way. Show us where there is water. Because he's used to the wilderness. Where there is a snake. Because Hobab lived in the wilderness. And he refused. And Moses begged him. And he told him, we'll give you a, a place among us. Hobab agreed and he took the family of the Kenites and they came. When they were about to divide the nation, they put them in the family of Judah and they say, where Judah will live, you will also live. That's why that's why Jabez found himself among the tribe of Judah and he, he was not mentioned before. Because those who say that Jabez was a Kenite, yes, they are right. But when you go deep into and you research, you find out that he was not a Jewish. He was not a Jew. He was an African. When they lived in Judah, one of the families said, this is about wilderness. Let's go and find some green pasture. And those, they divided themselves and one of them went to uh, Naphtali. Do you know Jael. a person called Jael who hit Sisir with uh, yes. he, he beat him with uh, in his tent. Do you remember her? Jael. You remember Jael? It was in the time of Deborah as, he was, Baruch, Baruch. as she was fighting against the commander called no, no, Barak. No, no, no. She was fighting with the commander called Barak. And they fought against a ruler who, who, who was against them called Sisera. And God caused his chariots to, uh, to sink where Elijah killed the uh, 400 prophets. It was in the valley of Jezreel. So he ran and found himself in the tent of Jael. And Jael killed him. And Jael was not a, a, a Jew. She was also an African. Let me show you that place. For those who went to Kedesh. Judges 4.11. And 17. Arikonde Heberi Umuki Umukeni Yari Yara Tandu Kanija Yari Yari Tandu Kanija Nabaki Nabakeni Kukubari Buyuda Nibobene Hobabu Hobabu Ramibuka 
sebuko wa Mose yarashinze ihema rye munsi y'igiti cy'umwera isana nimu hateganya ni Kadesh muri ya hema niho bikiye sisera donc uri ya mugabo witwa Heber umugore witwa Gajael uri ya Er ni witwe sisera baraba Ken aba Ken boko basebuko wa Mose abanyafrika now Heber the Kenite of the children of Hobab the father in law of Moses has separated himself from the Kenites and pitched his tent near the terebinth tree at Zanaim which is beside Kedesh Murabzibuka Komorongo wa 17 Ngo ariko sisera rahunga agenza ibirenge agera ku ihema rya Yayeri muka Heber wo muken kuko yabinu umwami wa Hasori n'umuryango wa Heber umukeni bari bafitanya mahoro urumva ko bagenda gahose batangaga mahoro burya abanyafrika muri karakteri yabo nabanyamahoro uretse ibihe byababuyeho bacumbikira abantu bakira abantu bakunda abantu baba muri societe baracyasangira donc voilà ibyo nibyo bibagenda however muzabikomeze kandi however sisera had fled away on the foot of to the tent of jair the wife of Heber the Kenite, for there was peace between Jabin the king of Hazor and the house of Heber the Kenite. Normally, Africans are peaceful people. They host people, they uh, treat people well, so you should continue that. Let's read in 1 Samuel 15 6. Samuel 15 verse 6. This time so we are going from the judges to the time of the kings. The judges and all these people were born in the time of judges. So the time of the kings came and Samuel became Hanyuma Saul agiye gukora ikintu Imana yanze agiye kwica abameleke kandi abameleke bari barakoranye isezerano na Yoshua muri ibuka. Saul is going to do something evil. Oh, oh sorry 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 sorry. Igihe pardon Saul agiye kwica abanyamereke Saul is going to kill the Amalekites Narimbitirenje n'abagibeyone no no aba nabanyamereke I was confusing them with the Gibeyone Abo Moses yari yavuze ngo muzabarimbure ngo kuko babitanze imbere mwambutse The ones that Moses said you must destroy them because they went in your way when you were crossing over Samuel Saul abaye umwami So Saul became the king Ikintu cyambe yagiye gukora The first thing he did Agiye gukura aho banyamereke He is going to kill the Amalekites Ariko mu ishaka rya gyinshi ajya kwica n'abagibeyone batari babisabe neho bagiriya kaka But in his zeal he went and killed the Gibeonites and became a problem Let's go to 1 Samuel 15 uh, 5. Says, Because Saul had said, Kuko mwangiri imbabazi abisiraeli bose ubwo bavaga mu Giputa nuko abakeni bava mu bameleki nicyage baberetse nzira bati mwadukoreye neza mwebwe simbica ariko ni muve mu bameleki kugira ngo twice abanyameleki ibyo bi ibyo bihe Saul yarakira umuntu mwiza Saul in verse 6 it says then Saul said to the Kenites go depart get down from among the Amalekites lest as I destroy you with them for you showed kindness to all the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt. So the Kenites departed from among the Amalekites. Ndaza kugaruka gato nze kubereka impamvu ya Bese ari umu ari umukene. Ndaza kuhabereka gato ya. I will show you how Jabez is a Kenite. None urumva impamvu yavuze ngo ya Bese asenga Imana yande ya Israel. Now you understand why it says Jabez pray to the God of Israel. You cannot be an Israel and, and pray to the God of Israel. He would have said uh, Jabez prayed his God. But it says he prayed to the God of Israel. Israel Israel. He prayed to the God of Israel. Bivuze. Which means it was not his God in the origin, he will, but he embraced him and he prayed to him. As we saw, the mother of Jabez bore him in pain. 
bituma mwita ya besi aravuga ngo namubyaranya gahinda and he called him jabez because he bore him in pain mubyukuri benshi muri twe twisanga tumeze nka ya besi many of us found ourselves like jabez ijambo rya mbere first yame ya besi ni umuntu ufite amateka ateye impuhwe kandi ntabyiringiro byejo hazaza afite Jabez is a man with a pitiful past and no hope for a future. As you see him, he has a painful past. As many of you who are following me and those who are sitting in the church, we have a painful past. It is not just painful. No, no. And we have no hope for tomorrow. That's the way Jabez was. You see things going from bad to worse and there is no tomorrow there is no hope at the end. Number 2. He is a man who struggles to find meaning and significance in life. What is my purpose? What is my value? How can I bring myself some value? How, how can I give a meaning to my life? This was his mindset and that's how many of us think number three he is a man who is desperate to be accepted by his fellow man the only issue is this no one accepts him he has no good reputation anybody in life you want people to accept you even if people call someone satan and they accept you you are going to accept them because they received you I once went into a gachacha uh, I went with my wife one time. And there was a case of, against people who, were, who, did, uh, who committed acts of genocide. And people accused someone. This person did so and so. And other people stood up. And they say, listen. This person they are talking about. He hid us. He fed us. Today we exist and we are alive because of him. So what you are saying is not true. That was a very difficult case. And they, be, they came a division between the people. Some would say he killed the child of so and so and others would say no he saved the son of so and so. Some say he's evil. Some say he's good. Who is good on this earth is the person who accepts you the way you are the one who accepts you the way you are is your brother it is not your biological brother or sister uh -uh. no if you ask the Jew that was beaten on the way and you ask them who is the brother who's your brother he said this is the Samaritan who yet they hate each other they don't intermarry and they despise each other but Jesus said this is the brother who took him out of trouble other, other, other than the other ones who passed by 
All of us want to be accepted. With our fellow men. It was the same thing with him. Number four. And this is most important. Yabes. Jabez is a man who craves relationship with God. Even though it is so. Even though nobody understands. If that anyway, there is one person who created me. There is someone who brought me. I did not come by accident. I'm going to seek that person. All these things come. For him to go and go back to his mind. He said. Why am I getting tired? No one brought me on this earth. God brought me. Let me seek him. That's when Jabez started to enter in his destiny. The problem many of us think. When we have these issues, we become angry against God rather than drawing near to God. And you say angrily, I'm not going to pray today, I'm just going to sleep. You can sleep, but he will remain God. The psalmist says, even the psalmist said in the time of the flood he was still on the throne so you cannot bring him into court you cannot imprison him you cannot be angry against him instead seek him what did, why did all this thing happen where, was God? where is God why is my child being so why am I missing these things he's sitting on his throne that's it you revolt yourself <laughs> you do all kinds of things but at the end you are going to say God I'm coming back you revolt yourself but you come back and you revolt yourself again but you always come back but after you understand the things that challenge you and to understand the tragedy of your life and the problems you have stop behaving as if you live in solutions call upon the God of Israel Jabez prayed to the God of Israel and he answered his request First Chronicles 4.10 He called on the God of Israel and God granted him what he requested. There's something amazing here. God did not change Jabez's name like he does to others but he changed his future. Another slide please, please. God did not change Jabez's name. But he changed his future. God change This is a way that I can illustrate his prayer. Jabez prayed like this. Lord, don't let my labor be my legacy. Listen. Someone can have a stamp of the things that show him. This is Jose. Jose. The name Jose uh, characterizes him. 
Isn't a Yuda Do you know what the name Judah means? Judah means praise. Ababzaraga when the mother Yehuda. when the mother of Judah gave birth to him she said I praise God it's in, the, in Hebrew it's Yehuda Yuda Iscariot do you know what Judah's Iscariot means Yuda Ish Yuda Ish Ish is in Hebrew is a man and the city next to Ephrata where he comes from is called Kariot. His name was Ish Kariot, which is the man from Kariot. But his name was Judah. Okay. Judah is... <laughs> so the reason why he was called Judah Iscariot was to differentiate him from Judah the brother of Jesus or Judah the other Judah who was in the ministry of, of Jesus but Judah Iscariot is not a bad name it is a good name it's like saying Judah of Ephrata Judah with Bethlehem. or Judah of Bethlehem Judah Bethlehem or Bethlehem Bethlehem. Judah Bethlehem, for instance. But we don't call them the, those okay. names. Because that name is bad. But God, after Jabez prayed, God changed his future and left his name. But in the, the time when Rachel was giving birth, he called his, ma- his son Benon. But his father called him Benjamin. When Rachel got to Ephrata, or Bethlehem where Jesus was born, she went into labor. They were coming from Shechem to Bethel and they put her under a tree to give birth. Shechem, yeah. Shechem, they were coming from uh, Shechem and it was a long journey when they got to Bethlehem called Ephrata that's where Jesus was born labor, he, she went into labor and she gave birth after she gave birth she passed away. But as she was leaving, she had a maid servant called Deborah, and she, Deborah told her, You have a son. And he was the second son. The first son was Joseph. This one was the second one. And Joseph had been sold. He never, she never After saw him. And she was in grief Joseph. that she lost Joseph. No, 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 no. And now she's giving birth to Benon, another son. And she did not see him as well. Her last breath as she was dying, she called him Ben On. Ben in Hebrew is a son. Now On Nagahid. And on means pain. He's the son of sorrow. Jacob, Jacob was standing next to her. And she, he knew the power of a name. The name Jacob took him to in exile for 21 years. Isaac 
And then he came back and the angel broke his hip and he received the name Israel. None yumvisha umwana we bamwisebenon umwana wa makuba. And now he hears his son being named the son of sorrow. Aitari hindrangoya. And he said no. Witwa Benjamin. Your name is Benjamin. Ben Ben umwana the son Yamin. Yamin the right hand you are the son of the right hand that's when Benjamin came to pass he removed Benon right away but Jabez his name did not change he kept the name the name of Jabez why? The prayer of Jabez overcame the name of Jabez. May God give you prayer that overcomes the troubles you are in. Prayer that overcomes the curses that you are in. Prayers that overcome the issues of that name. On you, on your family, on your brethren, on your nation. May God give you solutions that come from prayer that can overcome the problems that you have. He prayed for four things. The number one, the number one, he said, God, that you give me a blessing. He asked for a blessing of God. That you give me a blessing. I will, I will talk fast about a fourfold blessing that he has. This word, all oh, that you give me a blessing. When God gives a blessing, when He blesses you, He gives you four things. Number one, it is health. If they were to bring a doctor here and to examine people, we'll find people with tension, we'll find people with issues in their own bodies. So it is the grace of God. Let's pray for God's blessing. Health. You know the importance of having good health when you are sick. You can run, you can sleep, you can eat, you can run. But when you got sick, when you get sick and you can't even eat, and they have to carry you and lift you up from your bed. You see people running and you ask yourself, is this magic? You know the value of good health when you get sick. Among the blessings that Jabez prayed for, it was good health. Those are the blessings that God gives. The second blessing that God gives when you ask for him, he gives you a family. It is so much pain to live without a family. There are people get are born in family of many children and they don't understand the pain of being an only child. Even lions have families. Cubs. 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 Yes, cubs. Even birds have families. Even snakes have families. 
nubona intare zibiri ko zirarwana ziba zivuye mu miryango itandukanye if you see two lions or two cubs fighting they come from different families no dusimba tugenda tuguruka tujya tugira bene wabo tugira nyina na se na bene wabo nabo dugira family even the animals that you see flying around they have families ikintu gikomeye imana yahaye umuntu a great thing that god gave a, a man no murya it is a family yabwiye adam na eva told adam and eve ngo ni mwororoke mugwiza multiply mbahaye family i give you a family bavandi brethren imana ni bahu murya May God give you a family. May God give you a family. That is the second type of blessing. If you don't have health, you cannot do anything. If he gives you good health, and he gives you a good health, and you give birth and you multiply, it is a blessing. Is it not? Number three, among the blessings that God give it is land land in a small manner or land in a big way which is a, a country everybody must have a country they, or, they come from everyone must have their own land. Ahandu geze hose. Where you go? Ikizemera ku Imana yaguhereye umugisha nubutaki haguhera. What is going to prove that God blessed you is the land that he gives you. Iguhinzu? He gives you a house? Ikitwi yawe. And it's called yours. Igihe ugicumbitse. When you are still being hosted or renting. Uburu umukitsi numwe mukira. You are still a foreigner. Uburu mu pilgrim. You are a pilgrim. Uru umugenzi uri mu Kristo mu rugendo you are a pilgrim a Christian. but what proves that you have arrived that God has been pleased with you he gives you a house may you receive houses may you receive land may you not only have one uguru butaka Texas ubugure Indiana ubugure Maine ubugure New Mexico ubugure hose may you buy land in Texas in Maine in different states aba bantu bose mubona bafite amazanga imana yabahaye ubutaka yarabemeye nawe ni kwemere all the people that you see who have houses here God approved them so may God approve you too imani hamaga ya Abraham when God called Abraham yamubwiye ngo imuhayike he told him he is giving him what? A nation, a country. He told him, it is large. And and then so God sent the family of Abraham to multiply in Africa so that they could come and fill the promised land at that time no Africans who killed people they host now they do because it's the end times the Bible says another Pharaoh came who never knew them this one was not an African pharaoh in that century he was not an African pharaoh they received people from Palestine of the uh, tribe of the Hyksos they received them they intermarried and had uh, children oh they found issues they they found issues in the kingdom of Pharaoh and they infiltrated they became administrators and then they made a coup d'etat to the African pharaoh. And they came another pharaoh from Palestine called Hyksos. He is the one who enslaved and mistreated the Israelites. It's for you to know that you have land. May God give you the land. Africans gave the Israelites land and they multiply 
They came out of Egypt as three million people. Number four, the fourth blessing. It is wealth. God gives you health, a family, a land, and wealth. And have livestock of cows, uh, pigs, all kinds of animals. Do you know you know people, you should, that's a livestock that you can uh, raise and have a business. When we talk about the pigs, those are not the ones that Jesus sent to the water. It is the food that our, uh, uh, people in, our, in this country eat. Let me tell you something small. Honestly, a salary cannot, is not enough to live. No. Business is and you can do business anyway let me stop there but may you receive the blessing this is what he said he said God enlarge my territory please bear with me give me five minutes hey. This was just the first one. He said, God, give me a blessing. It is a, it is a family. Four blessings, health, family, land, and wealth. If you tell God, God, give me a blessing, these are the four things that he will give you. The second prayer he said, enlarge my territory. Let me tell you. Let's read in First Chronicles 255. 255. Ah, Imzaro Zawanditsi Baba Gahehe Iabesi Ni Abatirati Abashimeati Nabasukati Aboni Bobande Abakeni Bakomo Tsekuri Hamati Seumuryango Warekab. And the families of the scribes who dwelt at Jabez were the Tiratites the Shimathites and the Shunathites, these were the Kenites who came from Hamath, the father of the house of Rechab. Whose prayer did God answer? Yabes. Jabez. He said, God, enlarge my territory. Give me a large territory. Okay. Then, he had his own land. And they called it Jabez. He had a land according to his name. Where the Tiratites, the Shimonites, and the Shuhatites lived. Do you know these people? They come from Hamat. Hamat is and Hamat was the father of the house of Hekab. These were Kenites. Yeah, they were Kenites. I told you that Jabez was a Kenite. And there is a family or a house called the house of Rechab. Let me speak about it a little bit. Before I talk about it, many times, we find that we discover that Jabez is a toponym 
the name of a place because he prayed and said, give me a large territory. He had a city according to his name. Jabez. Jabez. He did not get one house as the one I prayed for. May God give you the countryside of Abilene to be yours. You think it's not possible? Do not do not look at your small land or your small uh, place and say this is enough. May God give you half of Fort Worth. Let me give you an example. This city of Jabez. As they were children of Kenites, and there was the house of the Rechab they came from. This is 1 Chronicles 2.55. They talked about his city and then the person. Here in America, who went, to, who went to the state of Washington? May God bless you. Who went to Washington, D.C.? Oh, You live in this country and you have never been to the capital city? You are going to remain in Uvira and not live in Kinshasa? Nico. It's like living in Makamba and never get to see Bujumbura. Go to DC. Those names, who do they belong to? General or President Washington. General or President Washington. General George Washington was the name, he was named after the. He, this land was named after him. Washington D.C., Washington State, Niwe, Niwe, Itiriye, Numundu. Washington D.C. and the state of Washington were named after him. Houston. Houston. Itiriwe. Sam Houston is named after Sam Houston. Texas. He was the first president of the Republic of Texas. Texas itaraja kuyandi maetangu ihure na na za Louisiana Louisiana ili fitaba France ba France bara igurisha ihure na 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 nani wa Oklahoma Oklahoma yarimo abarede ndiye benshi cyane baza kwifata ku ngufu iyi ngi iyi cyari igice cha cha Mexico ari kugifite mu president wa bita Sam Houston bukeye bara hafata abanyamerika Houston ba hitirira we. Donc easy na Houston, Houston. Tabwa ari zina byavuye mu kirere ni ry'umuntu. Ndagira ngo nawe tuzagira umutugu tutukwitirira. This state of Texas before it was joined to Louisiana who was owned that was owned by the French and uh, uh, Oklahoma that was owned by the Native Americans. It was uh, its own republic and Houston was named after this state. So may God also name you after a land. Austin. Austin. Ario capital ya Texas yumus. Which is the capital of Texas. Yitriwe umunu vita Austin. Was named after a person called Austin. Yabese now. Jabes. Yarafit umudugu. Dama dogu saying omanu nyaguri limbago. Yaisahabu umudugu. We mukira mwabanu wakome chan. Mumumu. Disciple, 
these three families that they talked about that lived in Jabez, they were uh, savants. They were very smart because Jabez had established a school that was teaching the, those people and they became very known as uh, smart people or savants. Yeah, Haraba Tirat. They were Tiratites. Haraba Shimet. They are Shimonites. Navasukat. And Sukahites. Baraba Churanzi Bambe. These were musicians. And they were the scribes. And they had a library in the city of Jesus. It was a great city. And people would move to Jesus. How did he achieve this? After he prayed. That's what the Bible said that he was more honorable than his brothers because no brother of him had its, his own land. Amen. Amen. He was from these people from Rekab come from Jabez. Look in Jeremiah 35. Jeremiah 35. Let me give you a small story. This house of Rechab was from the Kenites. They were Kenites. These Kenites of Jethro who is also Jabez come from. They had been taught principles. It is the only family in Israel who obeyed the God of Israel and never drank alcohol. The, Jabez, the sons of Jabez who come from Rechab of the Kenites they never tasted alcohol. These were uh, passed on by their fathers and their forefathers. Jeremiah 35, what he says in the summary. But I'm going to give you a small uh, summary. When I told Israel as something, they don't do it. But Jeremiah but Jeremiah called the sons of Erechab of the Kenites of Moses, father-in-law that they may come to the temple. When they get here, you are a prophet and they believe you. You must open the wine and tell them to drink as the prophet. And they came. He opened the wine and they told him, even if you are a prophet, we will not drink alcohol. And he said, why? Our forefathers forbade us. And our fathers before. And God turned to, his, to Jeremiah. He said, Jeremiah. Do you see how Rechab, the sons of Rechab, obeyed their fathers, but you cannot obey me? that's what Jeremiah is talking about in chapter 5. I'm just speaking two verses to read are you tired? just bear with me I'm going to Jeremiah 35 1 just go verse 1 just go verse 1 the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the day of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. And the Go to the house of the Rechabites, speak to them and bring them into a house, the house of the Lord, into one of the chambers and give them wine to drink. These are the children of Jabez who follow the principles of, 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 of God. Let's go to verse 5. And they said, then I said before the sons of the house of the Rechabites, bowls full of wine and cups, and I said to them, drink wine. Let's go to 
ngo amagambo ya Yonadabu mwene Rekabu ngo ayo yategetse abahungu be ngo bekunywa vino yarasohojwe kugeza na bugingo nubu tibayinywa kuko bumva itegeko rya basi tibayinywa kuko bumva itegeko rya basi kuruza ngo ariko je navuganye namwe kazinduka kare nkababwira ndi muri akanyumvira banze kwiwa the words of Jonadab the son of Rekab which he commanded his sons not to drink wine are performed for this day they drink none and obey their father's command but although i have spoken to you rising early and speaking you did not obey me ngwibyo se yababwiye na basekuruze what your fathers and your forefathers told you, you, they obeyed ngari ko israeli but israel ngo nzinduka mu gitondo nkavuga arise early and speak mu and nkavuga i speak in the evening, mijoro nkavuga at night as ti mwumve ariko baracyakurikiza ngo data yaravuze sokuru yaravuze sogokuru zaravuze kandi bakuba but they still obey because their father their forefathers say so Kumurongo wa 16 tu Yeremia yagiye kubwira abantu. Verse 16 where Jeremiah is speaking to people. Ah, ngo mubonye bene Yonadabu mwene Rekabu basoje itegeko sekuruza yabategetse ngo ari ku bubwo kobwo tibunyumvira. Surely the sons of Jonadab the son of Rekab have performed the commandment of their father which he commanded them but these people has not obeyed me. 18. Ngo maze Yeremia yabwira umuryango wa Barekebu ati uko ni ku witeka nyiringabo imana ya israeli ivuga ngo kuko mwumvi itegeko rya sogokuruza wanyu yonadab uyo nadab yavukanaga na 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 baho babe bakenate basebo kwa mose mugakomeza amategeko ye yose kandi mugakora ibyo yabategetse byose and jeremiah said to the house of the rechabites that says the lord of hosts the god of israel because you have obeyed the commandment of Jonadab, your father, and kept all his precepts and done according to all he commanded you. Therefore, that says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Jonadab, the son of Rechab, shall not lack a man to stand before me forever. These were taught at the school of Jabez. And they had principles. Do you know who killed Jezebel? When Elijah came back from the pit and anointed someone, who did he anoint? Yehu Jehu Ah Yehu Jehu Yes is a Yehu he anointed Jehu amavuta asiga na Elisha and he anointed Elisha uzamusigarira muterera ikoti rye who will replace him and he threw his Kuko uh, Eliya yakunze Jezebel because Elijah ran away from Jezebel Ariko yasizu zicya Jezebel but he anointed the one who killed Jezebel uwo mufashije ninde who helped him uwo fashije Yehu kwica Jezebeli ningawe kwa hapo who had uh, to to Jehu to kill Jezebel and the army of Je, uh, Jezebel wewe ndi mwamumenye you wouldn't know that person mwa mwana niwe Yehu ibimba mbagoye cyane if you can't know Jehu you can't know this person Yehonadavu cyangwa Yehonadavu his name is Jehonadavu yari mwene Rekabu he was the son of Rekabu bamwe bahungiye ruguru bamwe nababwiye bice bice ya Eli muri ya famille niwe bamufashije Yehu kwica umuryango wandi wa Ahabu kuko Imana yaravuze ngo mu muryango wa witeka ryose hazaba abantu bazankorera this person is from those who fled the north, the, uh, the same people who killed, the same people of Jael. Because God has said, this God will always have somebody to serve me in this family. These people don't read the Bible. <laughs> they just like to hear the preaching. Matthew 7, 7, you shall the father's prayer you should read the bible second kings 10:15 ngwavuye aho ahura na yonadabu mwene rekabu ngwaja kumusanga rera mubaza ati umutima wawe uratunganye nkuko uwanje gutunganiye yonadabu aramuzuza ati uratunganye na wati nibu tunganye mukuboko kwawe amuhukuboko uyu yari yehu komando ukomeye eri yaramaze gusiga mavuta ngwagende asohoreze kwiteka 
inzu ya ahaba yikureho na Yezebeli bahura nande na Yonadavu amufata kuboko aramubwira ngo turi kumwe ndati turi kumwe okay turi kumwe eh turi kumwe aramubwira ngo rero ngwino tujyane nawe nibutunganye mpukuboko kwawe arakumu ahera ko amuriza amushira mu igare rye baragenda aravuga ati nuko tujyana urebe ishyaka ndwanira uwiteka nuko amujyana mu igare rye bageze Samaria bati atsemba bari basigaye bose mu bantu ba Ahabu bari Samaria kugezaho yarimburiye kuko uwiteka yababwiye uwamufashije yeho ni yeho na davu ngo muri famiye ko ba ya besi bagira gishuri ibu ya besi bigaga amategeko yima now when he departed from there he met Jehonadab the son of Rechab coming to him and he greeted him and said to him is your heart right as my heart is towards your heart and Jehonadab answered it is Jehu said if it is give me your hand so he gave him his hand and he took him up to him into the chariot then he said come with me and see my zeal for the Lord so they had him ride in his chariot and when he when he came to Samaria he killed all who remained to Ahab in Samaria till he had destroyed them according to the word of the Lord which he spoke to Elijah Yehu azana na Yehonadab mwenere kabu bagende bavuga igice se mwenere kabu kugira ngo mumenye ko ari abakeneti mumenye ko ari bayabese mumenye ko ari kwa bayetiro abanyafrika ngo batsemba abantu bose basengaga baari uwo munsi bakurikizira muri Israel Oh hallelujah Imana iguye gukurikizira mu nzu yawe May God give you to remove the evil from your house Number 3 is God's hands upon ukuboko kw'Imana kuvuziki What does the hand of God mean Amabwiriza y'Imana God's instruction Imana ikakubwira God would instruct you Dutanga amabwiriza dukoresha amasinya amaboko We give Ero. instructions using hands Ero Jose Jose uramenye hariya You must know Umenye this na. You may in Hebrew ukuboko bisobanura instruction amabwiri The hand means instruction Icyakabiri Number 2 ukuboko kwa kumbe obzavugaga iki uzamporeho presence yawe It means God's presence ukuboko kw'Imana The hand of God ngo kumfata ku musatsi kurante wa Ezekiel ndo ari presence y'Imana It lifted me from my hair that was Ezekiel ukuboko gusobanura iki What does the hand mean? Kurindwa n'Imana. God's protection. Yuko boko kwimana kuri kuri wewe uburinzwe. When God's protect hand is upon you you are protected. Icyaka niko boko gusobanura iki? What does the hand mean again? Icyerekezo. God's direction. Iyo giye guha umuntu icyerekezo. When you are going to direct somebody, werekana niko boko. You use your hand. Uragenda. You go there. Nugera imbere. When you get there, utambike. You turn right. Hanyuma ukomeze. You continue. Ugenda utya. And then you go left. Ugenda direction. That's direction. In Hebrew it's a hand. When a hand is upon you that means I'm to This is what God he asked you. Give me your instruction. Give me your presence. Give me your protection. And your direction. And God gave it to him. That's why he had a city and he had a school where people come and come and learn wisdom. wisdom. Number four, keep someone from evil. To be kept from evil, it means to be kept from death. Imagine, if you ask all these things and you receive them, nubwo uri mu isi yandohi ariko ubusanure muri paradiso you may live in a filthy world but you will live in paradise ufite imigisha y'Imana do you have God's blessings ukuboko kw'Imana kuri kuri wowe is your hand is he hand upon you urarinzwe are you protected wa guri wimbago i do you have a lot of imani kuri nzurupfu is God protecting you from death umva ibi byose ubihawe wabukire muri isi if you receive all these things will you still be on this earth oh yeah no igiye ya besi yasenze ngo uzandokore mu byago havugwagamo kurindwa urupfu when jabez prayed to uh, keep him from evil he referred to rescuing him from death yabez arasana umuntu wibera muri paradiso kandi akiri mu isi yanduye jabez looks like someone who lives in the paradise while living in a corruptible world abarabe baba yuda the jewish rabbis muri muri midrash yabo na talmud bemera ko nyuma yo kuzamuka kwa Henoki na eri yakazamuka undi wabo warazamutse wa gatatu mu ijura dapfuye ari ya bes in the in the talmud and uh, the other books is... yes 
in the Talmud, the, uh, other than Enoch and Elijah being ascending to heaven without dying, they said that Jabez was the third one. Because he asked God to keep him from death. And God gave it to him. And they confirmed that he's one of the people who ascended but without dying. That's not the Bible. It is just research and oral traditions in Israel. In Israel. Brethren, if you pray and God answers you, you will live in a corruptible world, but you will live in it like you are living in paradise. Remember, as I conclude, the prayer of Jabez is a good example of how we should make prayer a priority in our lives. Because we should always look to God for our time in for our help in time of need and we can take our request straight to the throne of grace. And the prayer of Jabez provides a wonderful instance of a child of God approaching the majesty on high in humility faith and reliance upon God's goodness. My wish is that you attain the level of Jabez where you would pray and God will change your life and God will bless you. Give me a blessing enlarge my territory may your hand be upon me are those not good prayers keep me from evil and tragedy may God bless you stand up and let's pray Harimo ibyiza gusa bineze zumutima afitiye afitiye jisi mukigaza chiwe harimo ibyiza gusa Fitie, Sing it now, 
muri uyu mwanya ari kimana cyangwa ku buzima bwawe harimo harimo bibiza gusa abimeze Believe in your miracles today. The way job is and God brought him back into all and the right to say he was more honorable than his God is going to do for you today. Do you believe? Do you believe the Bible? Hallelujah! 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 There was a man who had a vision and he was taken into paradise. When he got there, he met an angel and he told him, I will give you a tour of the paradise so you can look and he showed him amazing things even a great choir that had great people worshipping God and other things that a person cannot say but then he saw a house that was very large that you cannot see the beginning and the end and he told the angel take me to this house he told him be patient so that I can show you other things first he took him and he brought him and said take me to that house the angel said do you really want to see it he said yes be patient I will take you and he continued to go afar and the person said I am curious to see the house and what's in it and the angel said let's go listen brother we are going to pray I'm going to give you this vision so that you know how to pray in this moment because you are tired of your life the way we are tired of the life you are living and you must also be tired of it this is the time that you must enter your destiny hey, hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. And the angel took him to the house. And he found it as a storage room that is full of things. That has shelves. 
He has many shelves. And the angel looked at him. And he told him, Do you see these things that are full of this storage? Are these people you see worshipping who died before they got to their blessings? They are full of blessings because people died and they never attained those blessings. That person was called Jones. And he looked for the role with the letter J to find his name. When he opened his cabinet, he found many things that have been there for many years that he never attained. Your wealth is in a cabinet in heaven. But the reason why you never attained is you use strength and you don't pray. You are distracted and you don't pray. Let's pray like Jabez in this morning. And let's remove it from the cabinet. Remove them from the cabinets. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hey, hey! John's prayed, uh, cried. He said, Really? I was not able to get tuition to study. He saw his diploma in that cabinet. My diploma. and he saw a safe full of gold and he said does this gold belong to me and he said yes this belongs to the people of God I am renting and yet I have cabins full of gold here listen it is not your age it is prayer it is prayer if you pray even though you are old the blessings of Jabez will come to you though you may be little if you pray the blessings of Jabez will come to you I hear God telling me pray that people may have a destiny if you are going to pray in this moment that God will have a destiny you are spending too much time in a life that God did not plan for you the pain you sleep with the tears you wake up with that poverty that poverty that you walk with that's not what God prepared for you you have been stolen you have been stolen brothers and sisters your have been stolen your children have been stolen your friends have been stolen your family has been stolen what you are in today is not what you should be in what you should be in we are going to open that door so that your things may come. I pray that you may come. That you may enlarge my things. That your hand may be upon me. That you may keep me from there. Let it be your prayer today. Pray in this world. We are God. We are God. We are God. We are God. We
umugabo nazo umugore nazo bakobwa ari bazo bahubwo ari bazo inzu nizo ubutakari buze amagara meza nazo kuri bitanga dabya kuri bitanga dabya kuri bitanga dabya kuri bitanga dabya hindura ubuzima bw'abantu hindura ibibero y'abantu bakoreho bakoreho yasaba gukereka ko kize icereka ko kize icereka ko tubuzima kize icereka ko tubuzima kiza mwizina rya Yesu 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 wow ndakiriye Unyinjize muri bene rekabu Buvie mategeko Ya base na base kuza Bahagarari mbere yawe Baragu korera Amangwa ni joro Dakiri ye Aga kiza kabanji Kumugabo Kumugore Kabana Banje Abakwe Abakazana Abuzu kuru Dakiri ye Umujisha wawe Kurugor guanje Kugi ugu chanje Kuri bene wachu Munda yanje Mumutuke wanje Dakiri ye Ubugenge Kumenya Kusoba nukia Hallelujah! Imani